Good morning and welcome to the 2017 Boots to Suits Transitioning Military Experience to Civilian Careers webinar. My name is Eeyore Andruk. I am a career counselor with Berkeley College Online. I have been uh, loving my job since June 2016. That's when I started. Uh, I work with students and graduates within the majors of Justice Studies, Legal Studies, National Security, along with Cyber and Homeland Security, which come along with that major. I have over a decade of interview experience both telephonic and face-to-face. -face. I have recruited and molded young talent into executives and also serve as a strategic career and communications advisor. The whole purpose of this presentation is uh, the following. Today we're going to cover an overview of Berkeley's Office of Military and Veteran Affairs working with career services and your career counselor, resume development, military-friendly employers, and military-related sites and resources. So about Berkeley College's Office of Military and Veteran Affairs. They are committed to helping veterans and their families succeed first and foremost. They are listed as a principal of excellence institution with the United States Department of Veteran Affairs and have received many awards and accolades for their um, work with our veteran population. Berkeley College currently has over 500 active military and veterans enrolled in our school. And um, our Office of Veteran Affairs offers financial aid, helps offer financial aid for service members through the GI Bill and Yellow Ribbon Program. There are programs and services that support service members, uh, such as flexible academic programs to accommodate your situation and schedule. Example, we're an online school uh, as well as a traditional school, uh, so we offer both for the flexibility of the veteran. May, be, may you be deployed or may you be working full time. Our advisors um, and uh, you know people in career services, our career counselors, and other um, advisors within the uh, school have military experience and are readily available. Our Office of Veteran Affairs has a five uh, has five on-site veteran resource centers located in Woodland Park, New Jersey, New York City, New York, Newark, New Jersey, Woodbridge, New Jersey, and Brooklyn, New York. Uh, these locations are designed to provide veterans with information to talk about their VA benefits. Um, and a veteran can meet with the online, um, sorry, with the Office of Military and Veteran Affairs. They just need to schedule an appointment. Uh, you can also socialize with other veterans at our Veteran Resource Center, obtain booklets, pamphlets, and other materials, and learn about a wide range of veteran benefits. We also have a wonderful, one of our many online resources uh, on our library guide offered to veterans. Um, and you can you know, reach out to um, the people who work in our Office of Military and Veteran Affairs. Um, and we also have different resources for our veteran affairs, for our veteran students. So working with career services, um, you know, I work in career services, as I mentioned earlier. Um, you know, we help our veteran students offer, you know, in, in, in many ways. We help our veteran students with obtaining internships, uh, full-time jobs, part-time and full-time. And, um, you know, we offer a, a lifetime of career services to our veteran students um, as a Berkeley, as if you are a Berkeley College graduate, of course. And, um, you know, feel free to connect with us, your career counselor, um, starting from the beginning of your first week. We're here for you at all times. Uh, we have many career counselors on staff, uh, just about um, 40 who are spread across all our campuses. Um, and uh, we're willing to help. We're ready to help you whenever you need. If you have any questions for us, 
uh, you can reach out to career services online at berkeleycollege.edu, and we will direct you to your career counselor if you don't know who he or she is. So working with career services, again, you know, first we identify your needs and assist you with part-time, full-time, and internship assistance. Um, we help you to, to teach you how to um, convert your military information into uh, civilian information, your experience. Uh, there's other resources that we have as well, including a resume companion, how to build out your resume for a military to civilian experience, as well as ONET online. Um, these websites offer assistance on how to translate what you did in the military and relate that experience to job functions in civilian life. Here are a few examples of military resumes. Um, I can't tell you how many times I'm presented with resumes from graduates uh, as well as current students, and uh, they don't have the military information on there. And military really teaches our uh, students, and, you know, and graduates uh, leadership skills and uh, management skills. It definitely needs to be on there. Your rank needs to be on there. Um, if, whether or not you were deployed somewhere, that needs to be on there. Uh, all your military information needs to be on there. And if you don't really know what to put on there and how to put it, um, career services will definitely help. So academic internship. The internship process is very similar to how you would search for a full or part-time job. Uh, you provide career services with the necessary documentation that they request, including your updated resume um, and uh, other paperwork that they ask for. Uh, once a resume is approved, you'll go through a couple of rounds of back and forth via email, or maybe it's face-to-face -face if you need. Uh, once it's approved, um, you can upload into our jobs portal called Berkeley Connect, and then you can begin your internship search. Um, there are several options on how you can work with us to secure an internship. We have many contacts throughout the United States, no matter where you may be, uh, with different companies who offer internships. But a student, uh, per se, um, may have a site in mind that he or she knows. Let's say uh, some, you know, somebody that they know who runs a, um, say, law office not far from where they live, so they can go down there and ask about internship programs, and, um, an intern and a career counselor can help coordinate that process as well in getting that uh, approved by the department chair. I mentioned earlier, I mentioned Berkeley Connect. Berkeley Connect is our jobs portal for students and graduates. Uh, you can search for positions related to your major if you're in a tri-state area uh, by city, state, job, function, and major. <clears throat> if you're not in the tri-state area, no big deal. We have many of, many other resources, including CareerShift. Uh, we have um, WayUp. We have many other resources that we use uh, to help our uh, current students and graduates attain either internships or jobs. As mentioned earlier, once your resume is approved in Ber in, by your counselor, you can upload into Berkeley Connect and start your search. Um, when you do use Berkeley Connect, um, every job is assigned a job order ID number, almost like a requisition number. Um, you have to provide that job order ID number to your career counselor so he or she can advocate for you, so he or she can follow up on your resume so it doesn't fall on deaf ears. So, you know, this, this increases your chances of getting an interview, ultimately getting hired. For a detailed explanation on how to get the best out of Berkeley Connect, please contact your career counselor. One of my favorite networking tools is LinkedIn um, online. Uh, it's LinkedIn is critical. I know that a lot of people are uh, afraid to create a LinkedIn profile, but you know they're all over Facebook and they're all over Instagram. But LinkedIn, for some reason, they're not really into that. Um, you know, look at it this way: Is Facebook going to help you get a job? Maybe not. Maybe a long shot. Instagram will they help you get a job? Unless you're on the creative side, uh, perhaps, but not likely. Um, it is important to build a LinkedIn profile, a strong LinkedIn profile. It's really a professional extension of your resume. Um, and not having a LinkedIn profile is the equivalent to a company not having a website. It's a must, an absolute must for a successful job search. Um, again, not to be mistaken with other social sites such as Facebook and Instagram, um, your picture should be a clear headshot 
that represents you professionally. Um, this gives an employer who's researching you, once you send the resume, they'll, they're going to Google you and they're going to see a LinkedIn profile and they're going to research you. That's, that's a reality. Um, so, you know, it gives the employer an opportunity to learn more about you, uh, more stuff that is on LinkedIn than is on your actual resume. It is also a great tool um, in helping you connect with potential employers, organizations, um, network, and uh, job search opportunities. Continuing on with LinkedIn, it's the number one way to really get a job in today's market. Um, you know, it's, it's free, it's simple. You can go to LinkedIn.com and sign up, um, pick an appropriate headshot, no scandalous photos, nothing of you at a party having a good time, no cartoon avatars, no revealing photos, a professional headshot. Uh, even if you have to go to a passport place and get your uh, picture taken. Even if you have a friend using your phone, you can get it on a white background, maybe on the back of a wall, shirt and tie, uh, and, you know, for men, uh, blouse for women, very appropriate. Uh, you can join different groups relevant that are in your industry. Uh, you can build connections that way from people that you know, uh, colleagues that you know, professionals, uh, past employers, friends, classmates, professors, department chairs, anybody within Berkeley College, you can start there. You can use, uh, again, Berkeley College, uh, our official network on LinkedIn to start as a starting point to building your professional relationships with the people who are a part of Berkeley College's official network. You can reach out to former employees and professors for recommendations. There's a recommendation section on LinkedIn. That's important as well. And when, you build, when you're building your LinkedIn, you can use relevant and engaging action words to create you as a personal brand. Uh, you can and get involved in group discussions and position yourself as a key player, as a thought leader within the, in, within the industry by chiming in on current trends. And you can follow companies and key influencers to keep abreast of new openings and current trends, as mentioned earlier. Uh, well, if you post an update on your profile, you can, there's an option to have it you know, refresh to all of your contacts so everybody can see what's going on, what kind of news you're making, and... Uh, Again, use your career services staff to assist you with connections and build out your LinkedIn network. We have a ton of different resources um, career services does to help you build an effective LinkedIn profile. We have videos, we have webinars, we have um, marketing material to really help you kind of, you know, hit a grand slam and really create a powerful LinkedIn profile. Speaking of uh, webinars, you know, we are, we in Career Services, we're committed to providing the best online resources for all of our students and graduates. We have a ton of webinars on our LibGuide. I mentioned the LibGuide earlier. Um, contact your career counselor for more information about that. Uh, wonderful, web, wonderful webinars, helpful and impactful webinars that will help you um, create yourself as a brand. Um, for example, how to market the brand you know best yourself. Uh, building a professional LinkedIn profile, that's another great webinar. Decoding the phone interview, the six secrets to successful internships. Make your next job interview a big hit. New year, new look on a budget. Salary and raise negotiation. Staying safe online with your job search. Holiday networking in your job search. Um, pretty much we cover the full gamut of how to successfully launch yourself into the career world. You know, Berkeley College also has a lot of connections with different uh, organizations and companies who are military friendly. Uh, there are, you know, several websites available, which I'm going to go into shortly. But, you know, there are military friendly companies who are really looking to hire veterans, looking to hire uh, current, um, you know, vet, current students who are in the military, including Combined Insurance Group, USAA, Baker, Baker Hughes, Union Pacific, Allied Barton, CSX Corporation, J.B. Hunt, Schneider National, Mantech International Corporation, as well as Verizon. And uh, not mentioned is Northrop Grumman, Amazon.com, G4S Security. Uh, there really, there's tons who are looking to hire veterans. As mentioned earlier, there are great websites uh, to help uh, you 
cater your skills to uh, your military skill to the civilian life as well as job search websites, including military skills translator, uh, vet friendly websites, vet jobs, clearance jobs, transition assistance online, the civilian professional, uh, the civilian personnel online, U.S. Department of Labor, GI jobs, recruit military, military hire, hire veterans and veterans employment. Additional resources include these websites, tips for applying with government jobs, National Veterans Foundation, Veterans Informational Links, Transition to Civilian Life, Military to Civilian Occupation Translator, online application for military job seekers, and one of the most impactful, powerful websites, um, ONET Military, which is uh, http colon forward slash forward slash www.onetonline.org. Um, there's a, a lot of resources, resources on this website that can help you. Uh, you can use the drop-down menu in the crosswalk section, then the military option, and click on the search arrow. On the next page, select the service branch from the drop-down menu and type the military occupation specialty of the client. It'll help you provide your um, military experience and uh, translate it to civilian experience. That's pretty much all I have to uh, say right now. And uh, you know, I thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call me at any time or send me an email. And uh, I look forward to helping you in any way that I can. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, have a great uh, day.